Now we're going to look at how to recompose half guard from knee on belly. This is a basic transition that a lot of people like to do, but they miss one very important detail. Nelson's knee on belly, he's got good weight distribution, Ugh, he's crushing me. No big deal, we got to get out of here. We're going to do that same thing that we did before, we're going to reach that hand down and we're just going to let it cut back here at the thigh. We don't ever want to push up here that's asking to get arm bar. Now this hand here is going to come palm up and we're going to control at the ankle. Even if his feet, foot is plastered, you can usually get that hand in there. Now here's that important piece that everyone misses. The space to stuff this ankle is not made by bridging up. The space is made when you come down, and that's in space in general. So when I start to bridge up, a lot of people try to stuff here, but his, his stomach is plastered to, uh, excuse me, his knee is plastered to my stomach when I try to bridge up. So when I bridge up, it doesn't matter how hard I bridge, there's never gonna be any space. That space is created when my hips drop, all right? So I bridge up, when my hips drop is when I get that space to stuff that knee. All right, now, this knee is still, I'm not out of danger yet. There's a couple things we can do. We can control, we can try to, to, to do the, the hip pump that we did earlier, or we can make use of this space back here that no one makes use of. I'm gonna take this hand and I'm gonna control on the top of the knee. Don't push it down, but I wanna chalk it so I can come up on my elbow. From here, I'm gonna open up my legs and I'm gonna shrink back and I'm gonna let him fall straight into that pocket. That's a depth of range of motion that people don't usually use. There's nothing stopping us from going that way and it's very difficult for him to follow me only because I'm chalking that knee. Once I get done chalking that knee, of course, we come under for that underhook and we start playing all of our half guard stuff. I am gonna use my palm up with my thumb. It's gonna come here. Remember, that space is made on the way down. Don't try to stuff it on the way up. I bridge up and then on the way down, I stuff that ankle. From here, I like to bring that hand up and I'm gonna shrimp away and get that underhook. If I catch over top of that arm, it really opens up all of those sweeps that I want anyway. <laughs> Hand to the outside, palm up with that thumb, and I'm gonna bridge up. Remember that space is made on the way down and control. My hand comes to the inside, I'm keeping that elbow tucked, chalking that knee up on my hand. I'm gonna move my hips away. From here, control on the back of the belt. Ideally, we want that underhook, but if we don't get it, if we get here, again, that, that sweep is right there. Awesome, hand behind the back, I come in, palm up. I bridge, it's on the way down, then I stuff that ankle. Awesome, from here, hand comes to the front of the knee, I come up and I'm gonna scoot away. From here, control, if you wanna take that sweep, nice and easy. It's very important, this concept, that the space is made on the way down from the bridge, that we apply it to everything. Do not get caught up when you're bridging to get out of mount, when you're bridging to get out of uh, half guard, anytime that you're gonna stuff a leg, the pressure is relieved on the way down, not on the way up. Super important, guys.